What's up everybody? It's Letitia with Bear Fruit Gardening. I hope that you are doing well. So I have been so blessed this past couple of weeks and I just want to share with you. Um, I have some friends in the gardening community and they're amazing and they have sent me some gifts. So let me show you what they sent. Ah! What's going on Bear Fruit? She didn't actually say that, but she said enclose is the fertilizer for your seedlings. Uh, mix one packet with a gallon of water. Thanks and God bless. Hmm. Miss Angela's Garden Scent sent me some Super Thrive. I've never heard of Super Thrive before, so I'm going to have to do some research. But apparently, you can use this as a fertilizer for your seedlings that you start indoors. Hmm. I'm excited to see it says plant vitamin for seedlings. Just mix with water and moisten seeds starting medium. Hmm. Thank you, Miss Angela. I didn't ask for it. Um, I might have mentioned it in a video like um, that I didn't know what people do uh, to fertilize their seedlings. Um, I never fertilized my seedlings up until this year. My first time ever. So I'm not sure. Uh, but thank you so much for the tip and the product. Next up, UT332200, UT3, okay, UT, <laughs> I'll place the, um, you know, everybody's, like a link to everybody's uh, YouTube channels below, uh, but UT sent me all kinds of things. Now, this might not have been all the packets because I already found these in my little seed saving, uh, container. Bam! A photo album. Who would have thunk it? But UT is known as the pepper pusher, okay? And so he sent me some, y'all probably can't see that. Let's see. Albino bullnose peppers. Um, poinsettia peppers. I've never heard of this. And I did a little research, a quick Google, you know. And uh, apparently I can grow these indoors. It is a hot pepper uh, but they're, they're so small. They're like a compact plant. So I'm going to go ahead and grow these. Actually, I already started some seeds. Ha! And then he sent me like um, him and Angel. By the way, I don't want to forget the wifey. Okay. Because y'all know behind every husband, every, every good husband is a magnificent wifey. Okay. So uh, they sent me some seeds that they saved on their own y'all and there's like a bunch of them in here oh my god i can't i just i don't know what to do with myself okay y'all so we got the albino that's not albino that's poinsettia and this is actually a compact pepper and i started some seeds already because i'm gonna grow them in my grow room and then um this is the albino bull nose pepper never seen such but i'm excited and this is a violet sparkle sweet pepper, a gold finger ornamental pepper, a korbaki sweet pepper, and this is called kiddo corn. Now I did a little quick Google search and I didn't see kiddo corn, but I've seen uh, uh, a few varieties that are look similar to this. I have never seen corn like this, so I am so excited. And then I got cherry bomb, which is a mild pepper. Now, this is what I was after, okay? And I don't even remember. I don't know if I asked him about it, if I just mentioned that I was going to buy some or wanted some. And everybody was like, Baker Creek. Well, I've been spotting these for like six months. I knew they were at BakerCreekRareSeeds.com. I'm not getting paid to say that. I'm just saying this where they where you can find them. But he sent me some. And they're the Oda Peppers. Oda Peppers are this beautiful, beautiful purple pepper. So I'm excited to have those. Thank you so much, UT and Angel. And then um, this is our carbon tomato. So they're popping out the tomatoes too, y'all. Our Mon Amana, Amana orange. And you know what? <gasps> Miss Angela, Miss Angela's Garden Sense, I think grew these in her garden uh, last season. And they were huge. I think, Miss Angela, are these the seeds? I think they are. And then Lucid Gem tomato, a beautiful, beautiful tomato. Uh, this is a purple tomato. A blueberry, a blue, 
yeah, blueberry cherry tomato. And I had actually just purchased these from migardener.com. So I'm excited to share these seeds with anyone. Um, and I have more. So if you would, are interested in the blueberry cherry tomato, just hit me up in the comments. And I'll try to send it uh, uh, to as many people as possible. And then the Black Beauty tomato. So I'm excited about that. Thank you so much, you two. You are so dope. Angel is more dope. <laughs> okay, so the next seeds are collard seeds. And y'all will never guess who I got these from. Diva Jones 03, of course. Like she is crazy. See collard saver. <laughs> so she sent me all these seeds. Look at look at all those seeds. Can you just imagine how many more she has? I mean, like, she has tons. So, anyway, I'm excited because I do want, like, literally, I want collard greens all over my property. So, I may even just do that. Be like, eh, 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 just wherever and see what comes up because I just want them everywhere. They're great. Oh, my God. Last but not least is DD's Pharmacy. And I just got these today. So, thank you so much, DD. Um... I didn't ask for these either. And I'm I I'm just I feel like really seriously overwhelmed by how cool this community is. And um y'all must know something I don't know quite yet, or maybe I do know, but I'm not sure how it's all gonna work out. But let me tell you, everything happens for a reason and there is a purpose for everything. And I just the these seeds that she sent me are very, very specific to my garden planning this year. And so I know I've released a few videos talking about what I want to plant, but I've also been trying to, uh, you know, expand my garden and think about the future. So I actually have the opportunity to sell to a grocery store. And so I'm, I'm in the future in like, like in the near, near future. And so I'm, I'm prepping or preparing for that in, in all kinds of different ways. So uh, not just out in the garden, but also inside the house. And um, so anyway, I, just the opportunity to be able to really do that. And um, y'all are kind of feeding this. And I'm, I'm so pumped up about all these seeds. So let me, let me show you. Little Big Girl Farmer apparently is having a party in the hallway. I don't know. I feel like this is just like, y'all, have y'all ever smelled seed packets? Is that weird? Um, so I'm imagining this is what I'm smelling. So this is Thai basil. No, sort of. <clears throat> and maybe it was, it was just because I don't know y'all. I'm smelling something that smells delicious, but she sent me some Thai basil. This is beautiful. And these seeds are from SoRightSeeds.com, which I've never heard of before. So I'm excited about that. Um, she also sent me some Japanese bunching onions. Yay! I love bunching onions, man. They grow and they keep growing back and you can just plant them everywhere. Some marjoram, which is an herb. I'm excited. And and the whole point, if y'all don't know who DD Pharmacy is, it's Pharmacy, F-A-R-M Pharmacy. Um, she, her aspirations are to plant a garden that will heal you. Um, so so a lot of home remedies, talking about herbs and, and all that kind of thing. She grows other stuff too. Uh, but I love the the concept of her channel and that name. That's, that's amazing. Here's some Crest. Now, I've never heard of Crest before. Never grown it. So I'm excited to do some research on that. Chinese celery. Now, my mom has been trying to get me to grow celery. And I just don't have... That's what I'm smelling. Oh, my God. Oh my goodness, that is really like pungent, um, but smells really good. It does smell good, um, but I'm not a huge celery fan, but for some reason, I've been getting a lot of celery seeds from Peeps, so guess what I'm going to do? In honor of you all, I'm going to, in respect, I'm going to sow these, and I will share some with my mom because she loves, loves, loves to grow celery. Um, arugula? love it and then this is what this is what really gets me so i had 
you know, have the aspiration of having a cut flower garden. And so that's why I tested the zinnias out last year and I got them to grow really big and nice and without doing much at all over by my shed. And this year I've, I've incorporated them some more in my garden and the, you know, all of a sudden I get all of these seeds and they're zinnias. And then, um, so here's the zinnia. Um, and I have like several, several seed tapes that I want to try too. And I'm actually going to do a video very, very soon giving some of those away because I want some, some people to grow with me and um, the specific seed tape and tell me what your experience is as well because I've never grown with seed tape. I've never used that in my garden. Um, and then look at all of these different types of sunflowers. I'm so excited. So the dwarf gold, I've never seen that before, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, Autumn Beauty Sunflower, isn't that beautiful? The Sunspot, oh, the Lemon Queen, and I've heard about the Lemon Queen, and I've seen the Lemon Queen, and I'm so excited to have her. The Velvet Queen, oh, breathtaking. And then here is just a sunflower mix. So I am so pumped up. Thank you all so, 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 so much for your generosity. I am just overwhelmed. Absolutely overwhelmed. Thank you. I'll talk to you later. You know I will.